So uh, welcome to the most moto mindset of successful thinking. Moto is short for motivation, the true outcome of having a mindset of successful thinking. It's having an unwavering expectation of successfully achieving a predetermined goal, knowing that the outcome was supposed to happen. That is the most moto creed. That's the most moto cry. That's the most moto uh, motto. Everything, man. So it's a, an unwavering expectation of successfully achieving a predetermined goal knowing that the outcome was supposed to happen. Let that sink in. So I had a moto moment today. You remember the moto moment is something like an aha moment. Uh, was well, not today, just over a little while. I've been thinking this over and over and over. And I was sitting talking to some, um, some friends around the table. It's a couple couples, uh, you know, couples around the table of all multicultural folks. We had an Asian, we had two African-American couples and an Asian, uh, individual there her husband wasn't there but we just sitting there talking and um we were talking about made services and prices the conversation came up to say hey how much do you pay for your your maid service and we just throwing out prices talking about oh my person does this my person does that and i had a moment i said you know what's crazy is that how the tide has truly changed or how Things have changed where you gotta think about what you've actually gone through going through throughout your life to the fact that you're talking about maid services, housekeeping. Interesting. You know, I tell my story a lot, and a lot of people know my story. And I won't stop telling my story. And I tell people all the time to share your story because you never know who could be impacted by your story. So I'm gonna continue sharing it. I'm gonna continue talking about the fact that I raised up in a single parent household with my mother and three brothers, I mean two brothers. Uh, I'm gonna I'm talk about the fact that I'm, a, I'm the third of the oldest of 16 kids on my daddy's side. I'm gonna continue to talk about, I'm, I'm born and raised in the projects in Knoxville, Tennessee, the inner city. I'm gonna continue talking about that, the old urban life. And how now we're having conversations with our, our friends, they look like me, they don't look like me, and we're talking about maid services. Sometimes we gotta sit back and think about where we actually come from, and I wanna encourage you today to think about where you actually have come from. The battles and challenges you've gone through to get to where you are. You know, my wife and I had time on, uh, when one of our cars was, and I say one of the cars are in the shop, we're tripping about how we gotta drive one car. The fact that we have Multiple cars to drive is a is a is a plus. I remember driving in a Ford Tempo with my two brothers, my two brothers, and my mama. We all crept up in this Ford Tempo with a, a million miles on it, with no air condition. What a plus! I want to encourage you today. When you're thinking that you're going through a whole lot and how you just got so much that you're going through, you're paying for your children's private school, you're paying for their tutoring in their private school and you're complaining about or going through a whole lot about oh my god life is so tough you got to sit back and think about oh my goodness i'm complaining about luxuries i'm not complaining about a need and sometimes i, I oftentimes think we forget that what we're complaining about is things that we don't even need it's luxuries so go throughout the day and think about those things. Think about where you've come from. Yes, it's okay to complain at times. And it's okay to actually feel that you're going through a lot. We get it. I get it. But sometimes you got to think about that moto moment to say, well, what the heck am I actually complaining about? That I don't have extra? Or that I don't have anything at all? Remember the saying that says, I once complained about how I didn't have any shoes until I seen someone with no feet. Be good, man. Remember the true outcome of having a mindset of successful thinking is having an unwavering expectation of successfully achieving a predetermined goal, knowing that the outcome is supposed to happen. Well, dang. What are we really complaining about when we got so much? How?